Greetings, my name is Andrea and I'm a life coach. My channel is about tackling everyday issues of the human psyche. Today's topic is about grounding or as it is commonly known as meditation. So when people hear the word meditation, it is an automatic turn down. This is because our lives are so chaotic that we cannot hush our ravaging minds. So let's not call it meditation then. Let's call it mindfulness. And this is when we focus our mind on either one single thing or what we are sensing and feeling. We start with either sitting down or lying down, but note if you sit down, your feet must be firmly on the ground. Then we focus on one thing that we see here. Maybe you can focus on something that you're tasting, like a piece of gum or some candy. And this is not about clearing your mind. I just want to clear that up. But rather redirecting it into a more destructive state. So you can automatically relax. Remember, we cannot solve problems if we are chaotic and we cannot focus. And this is the point. People who have overly chaotic lives tend not to be able to draw their attention to just one thing. Multitasking is a myth. <laughs> we must calm the waters of our lives with healthy distractions and practice calm problem solving. We can only get better and better once we start employing action steps. It is so difficult in the beginning, but eventually it adds so much value to your life. And eventually you'll just be able to do it flawlessly. So focus on redirecting your mind towards calmer, more positive ways to look at life and life's problems. You are the author of your own life. You do not want the entire story to be all over the place and not make sense. But you hear what I'm saying? You do not have to have a messy life or go through these incredible life changes and these gurus and all of that to get your life in order. Just practice a little centering and focus distraction techniques. We all need a little bit of decluttering, especially in our minds. Remember to fight for your health. Take care of yourselves. See you next time.